Yes, obviously what I've done there is I'm such a huge fan of Ick Smithian, so as I've actually memory hold that that team ever existed. You know, oh. that, that's what I've done as a favor for you to have a team. You know? and obviously, I wasn't even going to bring it up, but since you bring it well, up, well, I mean, look, shit on it, you know, we would have to clear the air here because you know, people people that that's follow my screen, most hated team of all time, pretty much right. One of my most hated, hated teams of all time, and for people that 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 know my stream, I was actually really really critical back it in the day. Was the classic the lineup exactly? Yes, yeah, right. I know, I know. I yes. that's something I would, that. I, we need to get rid of the way you know it's like i feel like it, it got so unjustified i mean we, we, maybe we'll have the chance to speak about it later on but it's it was a if you want to address oh, it, it give, about us, it now. Give, give us a count an hour we just have yeah, to be a this segment just give us your thoughts now what what do you think was unfair I mean, okay let, let, let's just let's just start it with this how about i just give so the take that i had that that people got up in arms with was that i thought that that Aiko was no nowhere close to the level of what an import should be in LCS, and the reason that he was in the team was because Zabutin was French, and so as uh, was French as well. So I thought that there was like there was this French bias because of the fact that he came from LFL, and uh, yeah, he just wasn't at the the level of what oh. you'd ex you'd expect of like you know the Jens and the Bjergsen. I mean, one of the things that we always said uh, on the Crackdown was that should be a spot for somebody who is considered one of the best players in the entire world. Like they, like if somebody like Faker or Chovy came to your team, they would be occupying the same spot within your team sure. as somebody like Aka. So that's what I was really hard on Aka and Ryoma. And I was just saying that the reason that Aka uh, was in the team was because he was French. Yeah, which I think is was kind of, kind of wrong because, you know, I was just following ERLs and I was... I was actually on the, like on the market on different rookies and it happened that and so many players at the same time and it happens that Aka was the the first one to actually agree to work uh and you know how it works in off seasons right it's like you you you, you inquire many players right that you find you think the profile is going to be good for your team and you need to sell down the slots because you don't know like they tell you like oh you know i'll call back tomorrow and then you call them back tomorrow and they're already taken by another yep. team and then the player that you put on hold found another team as well so you have a very very high first come first serve right yep. and it's not like i just took aka because he was first serve right but it's like the players from na that i wasn't in, in reach with made like some like made me wait right and the, the 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 clock was ticking, and I knew like we already had kind of an idea of what we wanted to do, and I have to say right with Aka's uh, play style, you see that when he came back to LFL, he actually played terrible, right? The first place yes. he really played didn't play well, and I think that's that's a that's a thing about Aka, and I was wrong on that, and I own it, right? Like that's the part is this is my fault that he didn't play well because he's a player that actually helps the team play well if he has very high carries, like very strong carries to play around, right? For instance, in LDLC this year, you see it's that he's playing against exactly and he was playing around around comp the the year before, right? He had Herit and comp, which obviously he played very well in their respective team in LEC this year. I mean, here he didn't play well the, 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 the I would say, this... Uh, last year he was good, so whatever, keep going, the point stands, keep yeah, going. Yeah, 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 he's, he's a very good laner. So I feel like it's just, the, the idea of AK was great, it's just the execution of AK was not good because I gave, I put him in a team where Soaz wants to play for the team, X, uh, Xmedia wants to play for the team, I could also play for, the team. Play for was... the team and yeah that that, that exactly. was that was that that's my that's my mistake because when, when i built the team i was like okay so i'm gonna just build a team out of players that are very intelligent about the game and i want just to play like more around like the fundamentals the rules of macro and stuff like that but you know i realized during the process by actually screaming and stuff like that that you need one very like young rough diamond that actually just you know clicks insanely well and like these smart players can actually enable and that's that was my like i own it because you know it's like there is no, there is nothing worse than people that actually don't own their mistakes but i feel like giving this back on ak and saying he's not good i don't think it wasn't good yes probably was not like the best import that any ever existed but if you look at his track record after immortals whenever you got a team that actually fits his profile he's shining and right now he's probably the best crl player with ragnar and yike like the top three the the, the, the top side of the map for idlc is probably the best crl uh top side uh and probably better than most of your top side from uh from from LEC. so i just thought it was all justified because i don't think it has to do anything to do it would have been like i don't know from serbia croatia uh, hungary whatsoever i would have picked him the same way like i was discussing with a lot of rookies from eu and it has nothing to do with the fact that he's french okay do you have any closing comment on that dom before we move on 
Uh, no, I mean, I because th- I, I had that, that take when the team was formed that I just thought that it was... He did, like, actually. I will say, when that lineup was announced before it played, Dom did <laughs> actually say he thought, like, the Smithy Soaz part, like, didn't work. And, like, essentially, there were too many supportive elements. Yeah, that's Yeah, true. I just thought that, like, so when I when I thought about Soaz, that was, that was uh you know, after recently came off the Misfits year, I believe, which yep. was, like, pretty bad. But before that, when he was playing with Fnatic, the last, like, split that he actually had a good year, he was just, like, a tank player, essentially. Like, he wasn't playing the carries anymore. Bwipo would come in, play the carries, he would play the tanks. And then Xmithy was just, like, the the facilitator jungler for um uh, for Team Liquid before that. He was just, that was his, his famous role on the team. So when I when I saw the team, I'm like, why would they assemble a team like this? And the only the only thing that I could come to logically was, like, maybe it has to do with the fact that I believe where you were casting LFL at a point, or you were casting the French League at a point. Uh, I've never That's casted true. a French league uh, because it was not really popular uh, back you when I was. You do the French after. broadcast of LEC. But but I, do, I, I, did, I did, yeah. I've been a caster for, for nine yeah. years, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was France. more just okay. a regional broadcast of the other I was doing LEC okay. and LCS. I was doing LEC, LCS, LCK, mostly in Wales. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, when I when I looked at the team, I was like, what do these players have in common? It's like, oh, well, you have these players that theoretically shouldn't work on the team and they're all French. So like, it's it's like, it's not something where I was I was saying that this is 100% like the point. It's like, I'm just like, what else could it, could there be? You know, like, speculation, else? yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's, sure. it wasn't like speculation or necessarily like pure damnation. My main thought was was not even that. My main thought was that I just thought Ico was not good. I was like, this guy is taking a spot from players like, like a blaze olive pal fox at that time which i had seen and now you see they're performing actually kind of decently in lcs mm-hmm. and i was like what does this aika guy bring that our talent does it and this was in the the years where almost no na talent was getting shots like season 10 mm-hmm. it was just like no na mid laner were getting shot they were getting aika and ryoma and i always paired them together because i'm like these are two players and at that time ryoma uh occupied an import slot he was from um oc that was before the the merge yep. or whatever before they were counted as na players and i was like why do we keep on importing players from regions that are not better than our than our uh our players that are already here just because they're imports. Like it makes no sense to me. So, I mean, my, my main criticism of, of, of Ico was that I just didn't think he was at the level of an import. When I look at what the other imports ha- uh, were in the league, mm. just look nothing close um, to, to what I expected. So, you, you know, and then I, I think he also was just having like a, like a bad time. Cause I watch, uh, I watch some, some LFL now and he looks like a completely different player. He looks way more confident, way more like poised throughout the game. It felt like he was probably pretty nervous to be playing with an LCS and have that pressure of being an import uh, on the team. And obviously the team wasn't doing well. So maybe that had some effect on, on why he's playing so poorly. Cause I will say watching LFL now, I mean, he looks, he looks pretty good. I would say. Yeah, I mean, I feel, you know, it's it's not like it's at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Just it stuck to me, like you know, some some sometimes analysts, like public analysts, like you, they say things resonate because a lot of people can't like I would say formulate a p- p- proper opinion on, on the industry because either they have no info, either they have no analysis of the game, and so it's just gonna be all you know. So I had the nepotism thing like for probably a year and a half, even after like my firing of immortals. It's like oh yeah, you just like nepotism and stuff. I was like. It feels it feels bad because I feel like I've I've chosen so as it was legitimately a, like an import slot the top laner uh, even though like he didn't have like mm. that great of a record. I understand where you come from for AK, but I felt like it had such an eco that shouldn't have. But I mean, it means that you're very popular at the same time, right? Because when you say <laughs> something, everybody would pitch nice. it. And now we're doing a show together. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. No, it's fine. Yeah, then. Yeah, whatever. Mean, like we've 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 resolved that aspect. Because I don't exactly. give a fuck about ERLs or the LFL or France in general, mate. Like I am from England. That's just who I am. So want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or you know, be a pleb and don't. Thank you.